Fear not, my thirsty brothers. For you know, the bottles will come. <laughs> Hi everyone, the polls are in, and after asking everyone, uh, basically CC and Rasmus, Bruskeval is voted best beer festival in the world. <laughs> Jokes aside, it's always fantastic to go to Bruskeval, and after three years of waiting, the time was finally upon us a month ago. CC had held a brewer's karaoke the night before, so his voice was shot to pieces, but we persevered and spoke to some amazing people. Here is part one where we get to know the people behind Nina Samsung Brigadi, Oppegård Brigadi, Underjord, Barclay Brewing, Finback Brewing, Brew York, Auburn, and Eskilstuna Earl Culture. Enjoy! Hi, everybody, and welcome to Beer Bubbles, the bubbliest podcast in the world. I'm sitting here with Fredrik from Nina Sam. Hello Over there, guys. Hey, hey, who are you? Uh, I'm Fredrik. <laughs> I'm working at Nynäshavns Ångbryggeri uh, as a sales guy and uh, a little bit of marketing as well. Yeah. So I'm running my legs off all the way from north to south in Sweden. <laughs> and now we're here in Helsingborg. Yeah, we're at uh, Bruskival. Yeah. It's a fantastic festival. And your brewery has been around for quite some time. Yeah, since 1997. 97. Yeah, That's 25 years. We're celebrating this year. So we've been around for a while, yeah? Yeah, I think CC was the third customer or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> customer yeah. number three. Is it so? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what do you think about Bruce Gold so far? It's great. Uh, I love this festival. This is uh, amazing uh, what they do mm. down here. Uh, and I've been longing for this for two years now? Uh, three years, three sorry. Years, yeah. Oh, time flies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was supposed to be last year, but it's something yeah. happened again. Great uh, people, great staff. Uh, breweries are yeah, amazing. Let's do a quick cheer. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Uh, have you found a favorite beer so far at the festival? Something that really stood out for you? Uh, yeah, actually, I tried Order Brig Company. They're making a Rauchbeer and a Schwarzbeer. Mm. Uh, really good. You have to try it. I the have, Schwarz. I've tried both. Have you? Have <laughs> you? Of, yeah, course. of course you have. We <laughs> had them on tap at Akra. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really I, good. I, yeah, I love that brewery. It's yep. uh, one of my favorite breweries yep. in Sweden. It's really nice. So I'm going to do the difficult question for you. The one that's the roughest one. You're going to die now. What's the last beer you're having? You can have anything you want. Pickler pills. Pickler pills. Grab it. Grab it the port. Yeah, yeah. B.A. Kex. <laughs> Unkespundet. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Fredrik, for this little short interview. And uh, we'll let you get back to drinking beer. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> Same. Hi, guys, and welcome back to the bubbliest podcast in the world. You might hear that my voice is going. I did a karaoke last night, a brewer's karaoke. And I'm, I'm running out of voice. But I'm, I'm sitting here with Hegan, all the way from Oppegård in uh, Dalarna. Tell us a bit about yourself and the brewery. The brewery, the brewery is located in Hedemora, Ingvalls Benning, five minutes through the, the small town, right out in the, in the bushes, behind the trees. In the sticks. <laughs> there you find the brewery. <laughs> and and you, it was uh, founded... 2003, so um, in a couple of months, we're turning 20. The big, big 2-0. Yep. Uh, and your story, you, you, have, you haven't been there that, that long, actually. Actually, I worked with the brewery since 2017 when I worked at the importer Tomp. And we had one of our business was to work with uh, Oppegårds. And since a year back in a couple of months... Uh, Oppegårds went by themselves, took over the sales. So I'm taking care of the sales to the restaurants and hotels in Sweden. That's nice. Uh, 
What do you think about the festival so far? Uh, I like the festival. I like the I like the weather. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's extremely warm, blue skies. Yeah, but I think I think it's fine. I mean, what do you say? It's it's a festival in a in the meaning of a festival. Yeah, it's a fest. Exactly. A party. Uh, and and your favorite beer here at the festival so far? What have you tried? Not very much because I'm on the crutches. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. You, 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 you broke your hip. <laughs> yeah. Skating. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. On, on a, a skateboarding. Yeah. And how old are you? Fifty-six. Hundred percent accident. <laughs> There was five people in the park. <laughs> <laughs> but have you tried any beers? Not very much, though. But I just picked. I just came from the Nunes. Yeah. And I tried their Kölsch. Okay. Uh, I really liked it. That's my kind of beer. Nölsch. Kölsch. Oh, but they call it Nölsch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like our Pilsner. I'm a lager and a Pilsner guy. Mm. Always have. If I have to pick one favorite beer among all beers, it has been uh, Oppegård's Winter Ale during years. Mm -hmm. uh, so that that leads us basically to the last question I have. Yeah. If you're gonna die today, <laughs> yeah, you can have one more beer in life. <laughs> Oppegård's Winter Ale. It would be the Oppegård's Winter Ale. <laughs> no question about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, and um, have a great festival. You too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Beer Bubbles, the Thank bubbly, you. bubbly, bubbly podcast in the world. As we say, CC is feeling strong and happy. I'm feeling strong and happy. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sitting with sad and weak uh, Oliver from uh, <laughs> Under Jordbrykus. No, I'm, I'm sad and I, weak. No, I'm strong and happy. <laughs> I just. I want to be different. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Undjord is a small brewery located at Södra Malm in Stockholm, yes, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about the brewery and yourself. Yeah. So uh, I'm Oliver, and I uh, uh, established the brewery for like four years ago. We started, and I think we are among the smallest ones on this festival, if not the smallest in terms of uh, size. So yeah. we do 120 liters a time i have no idea what that is in, in uh, barrels or but uh, one it's, one it's about three fourths of a barrel yeah three quarts of one barrel uh, oh fourths uh, <laughs> fourths <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, so 75 percent. yeah so so it's a it's a really small uh, yeah. brewery but we try to do I don't want to say premium because that sounds elitist, but we kind we try to do like crazy and quirky beer mm. that we do on big bottles. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, we really enjoyed your muscaroos. Thank one was, you, uh, thank you. Gorgeous, it's like yeah. a really nice grisette. Thank so you. Yeah, uh, barrel aged grisette and with and the even your lager, like the oh the, yeah, yeah, what the, the, the German style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like a swickle or uh, yeah. Yeah, so good. Uh, Thank what, you. what do you think about the festival so far? I think it's amazing. I remember uh, on your podcast when we were with, that was like a couple of months ago. Mm. And I said, I wanted to go to festivals because I wanted to be famous in, in the beer <laughs> world. Uh, and back then I hadn't really done any. So uh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, now that you're here, it's... Uh is it overwhelming or is it just fun? Or it's just it fun. It's just fun, yeah. Maybe a bit overwhelming yesterday when I I had only slept like two hours getting oh, here. Yeah. So it was kind of crazy and overwhelming at first. But no, no, it's just fun. And the people are great too. The brewers and the, the guests. Yeah. So, Have you found, other than your beers, <laughs> have you found anything you really liked? Like what's your favorite beer here so far? Ooh, that's a toughie. I drink small amounts from so many so it's kind of a blur in my head but I drank a uh, creek like a, a you know cherry sour from uh, sour cellars I think yeah American brewery that w that one was great yeah just I don't know lots of amazing beer yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you have gotten this question a little while back but you know <laughs> things change and yeah. you're about to die again <laughs> oh, for yeah, the second yeah. time what's the last beer you're having oh oh Last beer I'm having is uh, Brekeriets, uh, I think it was called OT or something. Okay. Uh, white wine barrel aged. 
because right. I had it just before I got here. So <laughs> if I would die right now, that would be the last you one. Did I, I one. would have. <laughs> All right, Oliver. Thank you so much. Thank and you so much. Uh, good luck with the rest of the day. Thank you. Nice seeing Cheers. you again. See you. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Guys, welcome back. Beer bubbles, bubbliest podcast in the world. I'm still losing my voice, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna fight through this day, <laughs> and it's not hard when you see Navy Brian from Barclay. Uh, we just tried both your extremely good stouts. Uh, welcome to Beer Bubbles. Thank you for having me. Who are you, and what is Barclays? Uh, I'm Brian, and uh, brewing for Barclay Brewing Company out of Connecticut in the United States. Uh, I do it as a side job, actually. I have a primary job as a head of design at Amazon. Okay. So that's my main passion. And then uh, beer is a hobby. Well, uh, that's uh, fantastic. Uh, how long has Barclay been around? Uh, I got started in 2014 as a home brewer. And uh, I went straight for barrel-aged stouts. So that's what I'm known for. I've been doing that ever since. Uh, I took off commercially in 2018. And I started brewing, uh, gypsy brewing, with a company called Ellison out of uh, Lansing, Michigan. He took me on. We brewed a stout together. And then he said, hey, whatever you want to do. So I had this idea to come up with a club membership, which I called Dimensions of Time Barrel Project, which is a series of uh, barrel aged stouts you pay in advance for, and then you have to wait until they're ready. So <laughs> it takes a while. That's a good market, marketing strategy as well. Yeah. You never run out of money. Well, well, well yeah. you can. There's never <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> so what do you think about Brewski Bowl? This is amazing. It's a fantastic festival, isn't it? It's the second festival I've ever poured at, but I've been to a lot of festivals. Um, first off, I love Sweden. This country is amazing. I'm sad that this is the first time I've visited, but I will be back. The people are lovely. The beer is fantastic. Uh I'm meeting friends for life here, so uh, it's been a really great experience. Marcus, uh, we had a little bit of problem getting some of our beer here, and that guy busted his ass to make it happen, so big thanks to him, or else I wouldn't be having this conversation with you. Well, you probably would have this conversation with us, but we wouldn't be able to try your beers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've tried a few beers here. Yeah. Over, the, well, one and a half days or yeah. whatever it is. Uh, what is your absolute favorite beer that you've tried? My absolute favorite beer, and Rasmus here will have to help me pronounce the name, oh, uh, the, the Schwarz beer that I had. Uh, what a big company. Order. Yeah. yeah. Those guys, not only are their beer, in my opinion, the best I've had here, but they're the nicest guys, too. They're just sweet people. And they're standing quite close to you over there. Where, yeah. Where you're standing as well. The, the mm -hmm. Schwarz beer in particular. Yeah. And you tried the Rauch beer as well, yeah, the Ruar. Yeah. Yesterday they had a pale ale on that was fantastic. Uh, they opened the spontaneous uh, wild ale for me. <laughs> they've they've hit the note on every single one of them. Perfect. Uh, last question for the interview. Yeah, I'm sad to say, but you are dying today, and you can only have one more beer. But any beer in the world, mm. what would it be? I'd have to say side project for Gabe. It's a blend of stout. And uh, barley wine. And it's the best beer I've had from them. Incredibly complex and layered. It comes in at about 16%, so it's hot. But uh, it drinks more like a really bold, complex wine in its structure. Uh, and it's my favorite. Thank you very much, Brian. And enjoy the rest of the festival. I'm sure we're going to see lots more of each other. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Thank you. And the shop is amazing. I came by uh, and had beers with Rasmus the other night. Oh, yeah, he pours crack. the best Schwarz beer, so go, uh, <laughs> go see him. The foam was perfect. I would be remiss if I didn't say that. So uh, check out Accurate, please. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Take care of yourself. All right, take care. Welcome back to Beer Bubbles, the number one bubbliest podcast in the world. And I'm sitting here with Caitlin from Finback Brewing in the US, right? Yes. 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 Hi. Hi. Uh, who are you and who, who is Finback Brewing? Uh, so I am the head of sales at Finback. Finback has been around for eight years. 
We have two locations in New York City, our original locations in Queens, and we opened up um, in Brooklyn in 2020. Uh, we call our Queen spot the factory. It's where most of our beer comes from. And then our Brooklyn spot is our studio. So it's more of a creative spot. We're roasting coffee, making gin, uh, small batch beers. We got the chance to try your eight-year anniversary yes. stout yesterday, which was poured <laughs> four o'clock. And it was out two minutes after that, yes. basically. It was really nice. And it was by a fluke. Uh, I know you thought that we came for that. But I came and he ordered the beer and I just read the sign and said, Four o'clock, you're going to open this. And I said, four minutes left. I think I'll wait. And I ended up being the first one in, in line. Yes. <laughs> it's a special beer. Yeah, um, we, we were lucky to, to get a chance to start. Because you had one bottle with you, right? One bottle. One bottle. Yes. Yeah, and that really was gone in two minutes. It was really gone in two minutes. <laughs> I opened it at four and 4.02. It was done. Oh, that's, that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about Brewski Falls so far? Oh, Brewski Falls is great. This is uh, my second time here. Mm-hmm. And it's just a great festival. Lots of great breweries. You know, everyone's always super excited about the beer. Uh, we don't send a lot of beer over, so it's nice to get a chance to come and be in front of people and talk mm-hmm. about our beer. Have you had something that uh, stood out for you? One of the, a beer from a brewery? I really love the Pilsner from Forager. From um, Forager? Ah, oh, that's right, nice. what I was going back for all day. This is a short section we're doing, so sure. I'm going to ask you the last and the hardest question. Okay. You're going to die right now. So what's the last beer you're having? It could be anything. I think just a really clean, crisp Pilsner. Um, I feel like everybody's making Pilsners now, and I, I, I'm trying all different ones, and everyone's doing a really great job. And I, nice. that's, I don't have a specific one, but yes, just a, a clean, really nice, Pilsner. clean, crisp Pilsner. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. It's a good choice. Right. Uh, thank you very much, Caitlin. Thank you, guys. By. Enjoy. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Beer Bubbles, bubbliest podcast in the world. Sitting here with Lee uh, from Brew York, the brewery, not the newsletter. Not the newsletter. Newsletter. No, <laughs> no, no. no. Not to be confused with Chris. Although we have met Chris. Yeah, uh, he was in uh, one of the episodes for Beer Bubbles just a uh, few weeks back. Yeah. And um, we actually talked about how many times you've been mistagged in different uh, situations. It it happens a lot. More importantly, I'd love to know where he gets all his money to be able to travel around all these fantastic breweries. What's his latest count? Is it like almost 4,000 now? I I don't know, but it's lots and lots. Yeah. And he's a dead nice guy as well. He, he truly is. Yeah. And one day we will brew together. You promise that? Definitely going to happen. Make Definitely. sure that we get some kegs and, and bottles or cans over to Akrat then. It's done. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Lee, who are you and what is Brew York? So I'm Lee. I'm currently the production director at Brew York. I'm one of the two founders of the business. Uh, I was the original head brewer. Um, to this day, uh, the majority of the recipes are still me, but... I am pleased to be able to involve some of the other team in it now. And the Brew York is a brewery in the north of England, in the original city of York, before <laughs> there was such a thing as New York. In which, Yorkshire. In Yorkshire, indeed, was once the capital of Yorkshire. Uh, so it's a beautiful medieval city surrounded by a, a, a lovely wall, and it's got a little castle in the, the centre on a hill. Uh, it's got the largest Gothic cathedral in Europe. It is a truly spectacular city to, to visit and to live in. Um, and we've created a lovely little craft brewery in the city centre, alongside which we have uh, a tap room and a beer hall connected by a staircase. And we have some li- lovely outdoor space, some of it by the river, some of it in the yard at the front, uh, with a capacity of 450 people now. So it has grown quite a bit. And what do you think about this festival? Is it your first time to Bruce? It's, it's our well. first time in Sweden. It's our first time at Bruce Ural, And it is incredible. This is a, a truly altogether different scale compared to the things we've done in the past. Uh, we're truly honoured that Marcus invited us here. Um, he's a lovely guy. Um, I hope to be back one day. Even if I'm not behind a bar, I'll be back here to drink one day. It's that good a festival. And have you found anything that stood out that, that you've tried here at the festival? Oh, Have wow. you had a chance to try anything? I, I've been around a few places last yesterday. I had a nice sour from uh, Barrier, um, which is, is that New York? I think so. Uh, US anyway. Um, do you know what I was really enjoying yesterday that I don't drink a lot of? All the Pilsners. 
Yeah. It's just with this weather, I, usually I, I would go sours or I would go stouts. But the way the heat is, I've just been seeking out some nice pilsners. And every, it seems like everyone is doing really good pilsners now. Yeah. I, I was sent to someone yesterday at, at a beer festival in the UK. Sometimes there'd be like some okay beer and some good beer. Nobody anywhere is doing bad beer now. You come to something like this and you've just got fantastic beer everywhere. It's nice to see the queues for certain more popular breweries, but you don't need to do that to find excellent beer now. All of these brewers here are making great beers. I spoke to an old associate of mine and I asked him, like, have you found anything good? And he's like, you know what? Just walk to the next guy in front of you. Yeah. Just wherever you go, the beer is fantastic. Absolutely. Absolutely. I could not agree more. Last question. You're dying now, and you can grab one on the way. Which beer would that be? Oh, um, probably a stout from the prairie in the US. The Bible one or the Big Bad Baptist or something, something like that. The Bible Age version, though, obviously. Yeah, yeah. the Big Bad Baptist. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Lee. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you. Have a great day. Oh, I think I will. Thanks for having me. <laughs> thank Cheers. you. Welcome to Beer Bubbles, the bubbliest podcast in the world. I'm trying to get my voice back. It doesn't really work that way. But I'm here with Lasse and Jack from Auburn. Welcome to Beer Bubbles. Hello. Thank you so much. <laughs> Happy to be here. <laughs> Who are you and what is Auburn? Oh, shit. That's an easy question to answer. We are brewers at Open, And Open started as... That's actually a good story to it because the word Open means open in Danish. Open, yeah. open mind. So every time Philip, our founder, he started uh, to ask for questions, other brewers in Denmark and the rest of the world always are like, you have any questions? Come here and we show you everything. So he feels like the society of brewing is very, very open-minded. And that's actually why they took in the name Open, because everything about it is so open. So As in open source or open... Open source, open-minded, open to guests, open to other people. So, yeah. That's probably why I love this business. Because it is, it's, it is such an open society. It is a very open society, yeah. I'm glad you're here, because I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I just realized. That's why I came in from the side. <laughs> but how long have you been been the brewing? Uh, uh, so me, I've been with them for six months. So when we opened the Codbian place in uh, Copenhagen, I joined them from another brewery. Yeah, I, I came in from the side out of nothing. So I w- I've been here two years. And I never really brewed anything before starting at Open. So. And the brewery's been around since... It's five we years? just made our five year anniversary, okay, yeah. which we are drinking now. Oh, it's a five year anniversary, yeah, yeah. Proper West Coast, I love Proper to drink it. Yeah, it's nice. What do you think of the festival so far? Well, it's your first time here, right? It's so. my first time, and I'm gonna come again, so yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> yeah. uh, so it's my second time here. I love it. I think it's like for me, it's the best beer festival I've been to. Other, obviously, other ones are like really fun, but this is just like. It's a totally different thing. It's this just, is a fest. It's just festival. fucking organized really well. <laughs> like, great, we get food all through tokens. Like, the weather's great. Like, it's, yeah, it's great. I love it. And, like, the mix of beers is really good because there's, like, a shitload of Swedish stuff, which we normally don't get. There's some good, like, otherworldly stuff. Like, yeah, and then stuff you just, you would never get to try. Like, so we were, we're working on some stuff with the Tampa Bay guys soon, like, I would have never tried their beer. Like it, it just doesn't cross the pond. Uh, awesome like, stuff. Have you? You have had time to walk around and try some at least. Yes, there is. There is some play. Like it's not all work. What's the favorite? Is... <laughs> Ooh, honestly, a... I think it is. I think it was Hillier's uh, uh, smoked Hellas yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I think that. Mm-hmm. For I'm me, it'd be it. that. Yeah. So the thing is, I think I would answer the same. But I fucked up because I came in late yesterday and I didn't find them. So I didn't <laughs> taste it. And I've been wanting to taste this ever since they told me they were about to make it. <laughs> so I feel like that would have been my answer if I have tasted it. But uh, but I don't know because there was a lot of Florida guys making some sours where I was like, what the fuck, we never did this in Europe. That was, that was funny to try. But in general, double West Coast. 
that's nice. Or, or you're, you're getting high on your own supply. Of course not. <laughs> the other double West Coast out here is awesome. <laughs> Guys, we're going to cut this short. <laughs> Guys, we're going to cut this short. God, me voice, it's... it's I, I don't know if I'm going to edit that out, but... <laughs> Because you people need to know how I'm struggling here today. <laughs> Final question, probably the hardest one. I'm sorry, guys, you're gonna die. You can gra grab one on the way. One more beer, anything in the world. What are you having? Uh, Schoenram pills. Rauch beer, of course. <laughs> <laughs> guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much, and have a great end to the festival. All right, cheers, man. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to Beer Bubbles, the bubbliest podcast in the world. We're still sitting here. It's warm as fuck outside. The beer is cold. It's a nice beer. It's a quadruple style yeah. from Eskilstuna. It's correct. Yeah. Hi, Patrick. Yeah. Who are you? Who is Eskilstuna? Yeah. Uh, my name is Patrick Svensk. I am the head of brand, uh, sales and marketing, and uh, product director of Eskilstuna Alcultur. We were one of the first Swedish uh, craft breweries. So when we started back in the days, we had like uh, around 20 breweries. Today we have around like 500 breweries. And we are always since beginning making a lot of Belgian beers. So that is our niche and uh, we love Belgian beers. And, and uh, our name is called Ölkultur. And if you translate it, it means beer culture. So for us, it's important to uh, promote beer culture. And uh, I gotta say, this is uh, as Cici said before. I mean, when you think about Swedish-made Belgian beers, you yeah. think Snausarv or Vreta Kloster, yeah. but uh, this is this is up there. Like yeah. this is really nice. It's, yeah. like, it's a good quadruple. Yeah, but we, uh, when you say uh, th this is fantastic breweries, and I love them, it's friends. But they used to work in uh, Eskilstuna. Oh, <laughs> both of them. <laughs> yeah. So. So you're the OGs. That's yeah, what you're we're saying. Yeah, we're OGs. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think about the Bruskeval so far? Fantastic. It's uh, the atmosphere, the beer, the people in the industry, uh, the customers. Uh, couldn't be better. It's uh, amazing that we are in Sweden. It's, uh, it doesn't feel like it. No, it doesn't feel <laughs> like it. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's, it's, uh, I mean, it's people from all over the world here just going around enjoying the beer. And, it's, and what's mental is that you know, it's o over a hundred breweries, and everything is nice. Everything yeah. is good. Like, there's no bad beer everywhere. Yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. It's really cool. Have you found something that you really enjoyed? Yeah, of course. I I, uh, I had a lot of uh, fantastic beers. Uh, it's almost impossible to select some of them, but uh, for me, Brekkeriet is like um, insane. They are fantastic. I was also super surprised because I tried a new Swedish brewery called Underjord mm -hmm. and I tried all of their beers and I was uh, looking for which beer is the where it's not perfect I could not find I had six <laughs> beers <It> was <laughs> nice. Im super impressive nice yeah I think Brickeria has the precise blend on today yeah <laughs> which is a beer made for for Akurat. Ah, yeah yeah yeah, 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 it's, yeah. it's really cool it's, really yeah, it's cool. Uh, Unarki or no, it's oh, a, it's a precise it's blend. It's a mix of fermentation made with the three years blend. Yeah, yeah. it's been on Bordeaux casks. Yeah, and uh, tap for Akurats. We had twenty five cakes in total, I think, yeah. and uh, four of them we we put in our cellar. Yeah, to age them a bit and see what happens. Yeah, you know, for science, as you say. Yeah. <laughs> So is is the the Belgium beer style the focus of Eskilstuna or yeah. or yeah yeah for sure we we uh, we have always been doing this since the beginning uh, since 2006 and uh, so we we do a lot of Belgian beers we also of course have our house lager and some IPAs but when we do some kind of uh, IPAs we try to make it like really classical ones so so we have a like British very multi IPA we have West Coast style. We're not really the the brewery where you find pastry stout or uh, like uh, or hazies. Yeah, this is not <laughs> us. Yeah. Well, that, there's so many uh, breweries that are good at that. Yeah. Let them do that. Yeah. When, and you also have to have bread and butter yeah, to yeah. be able to do this. Yeah. And you said this is the second time a Trappist has ever done a collab. Yeah, in with Europe. A small brewery. Yeah, ever. So the first one was uh, La Trappe and Brewdog. I think it was three years ago, and this is number two in Europe. 
So I'm I'm uh, so humble and proud. <laughs> so uh, I get that. It's 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 really cool. And uh, as a quadruple lover myself, I'm I'm happy to to drink a Swedish one that is uh, yeah. It's uh, it's up there with same quality. But now we we're doing these ones short and and fast and stuff like that. So yeah. we're gonna ask you the last and the hardest question yeah. that I get today. You're gonna die right now. Yeah. And you can have one last beer in whichever beer you want. Yeah. What are you having? I would have the Saison de Pont. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I can die. It's the okay. mother of all Saisons. <laughs> yeah. Saison de Pont. Yeah. Well, you're not the first one to say that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, yeah. Patrick. Thank you. Glad to have you. Yeah. And I hope the rest of the festival goes nice for you. Perfect. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs> Part one is done. Stay tuned for part two to be released next Friday. Thanks to our sponsors, Elite Hotel, Bishop Arms and Accurate for helping us make this podcast a reality. And see you all next week. Just don't forget, drink better beer. Ba, 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 ba.